Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome to today's stream. Um, so today we'll be building a prototype for an upcoming keyboard called the Merisi Sesanta Cinque. See One Drug Man, I'm Raimi, Rabbit Sensei, The Swaby, Sir Nighting, Razor Block, Bill Chill Zone, Zujo, Kev MCG, Raz, hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Keyboard Tony, hello. Janky, hello. Crazy Derp Turtle, hello. Cooking stream when? Not anytime soon. I would have to set up a set up stuff, and that would be kind of hard. So how, how are people doing today? Um, it's been a long day for me. <laughs> but here we are. You're probably the only person other than the creator who knows how to pronounce it correctly. I did, I did know a bit of Italian. Zambaman, are you okay? <laughs> Thinking of doing like a dreamish build with a MK65 entry edition. Kelper's mm. leaving soon. Yeah, why are you still awake? It's so late. Hey, Dan Millman, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Come back for two months. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Uh, it's been a busy day. I'm um, just running errands and doing some work. Yeah. I go to sleep at 6? Like at 6 a.m.? Holy crap. I need you to pray for me to get the Bower 2. Oh yeah, that's right. So the Bower 2 raffle just ended, right? Earlier. So good luck to people who um, are purchasing the... Bower 2, hopefully, if you get to purchase it. Good luck if you entered. Um, yeah. I didn't enter myself um, because no funds. So, my broke ass can't afford Bower. That's, that's exactly how it is for me, too. So, yeah, I passed on it. Good luck, though. Good luck. Good luck. Mary's keyboard also make pasta? I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Just wasn't interested in the bard. That makes sense. That's fine. Everyone has different tastes. All right. So I guess it's been about five, five, ten minutes. Um, so let's get started. Free pasta included. Oh, I mean. One thing is including the pasta, and another is like, um, you know, some have having it cooked right and it being delicious, because you know, pasta is not that expensive or hard to get. Right? You just gotta be good at cooking it. <laughs> al dente, yeah, of course, al dente. No other way. What noodle shape? Hmm. I'm actually not sure. 65% pain. <laughs> actually, not, I actually am not sure what, what I would like, personally. As for a type of pasta. Okay, so this is our bag. Um, so something pretty nice is that the Mary C. Sesanta Cinque will come with um, TX style bags. Um, with the Mary C Works logo on it. Um, this is currently a um, medium sized bag, but the actual group by unit, I was told, 
is going to come with a small size back, which is going to be fit um, for the 65% layout, right? So, so the small size back normally fits 60% and 65%, and medium size fits uh, like 75s and uh, TKLs and so on. And then large is like, you know, 1800 and so on. But yeah, so this will come with a small size TX bag. Chagasaurus, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you, thank you. Everybody likes Penne? Yeah, Penne is good. All right, so let's open this guy up. Okay. So here we have, let's see, what is this? This is the PCB, I believe. PCB, so um, here's a PCB. I have a list of items here that I'm like following as we go. Um, so here right now the PCB prototype is green, but <laughs> for those who <laughs> <laughs> For those who have read the Andromeda thread, you might get a laugh out of it, but the real production PCB will be a matte black PCB, um, and this PCB is going to be made by Team McLovin. Wait, it's not focusing. It's going to be made by... Team McLovin and it's going to be QMK and VIA compatible. Uh, as you can see, it uses a daughter board JST connection. <laughs> it's green, so amateur. <laughs> yeah, so so it's going to be a matte black PCB by McLovin um, for 65%. Um, and it's going to come with a JST, you know, daughter board cable. So there's that. And there's an extra PCB here, which we'll don't need. And then we have a bunch of other things here. So we have our stabilizers. We have our daughter board cable. So this daughter board cable is also temporary. Um, the actual daughter board cable will be um, actually slightly shorter and also it's gonna have a sleeve on it so it's um you know it's gonna be nicer for the for the routing of the cable on the case and we have a bunch of mx black switches i believe these are lubed with 205 and um with films uh and these are stock springs so kind of heavy for me but uh it's okay all right so, as I said, it's going to be a small TX bag that ships with the board. Okay. Oh, and the um, bag is going to contain a... You guys have seen the... Um... Oh, wait. Actually, is this here? Oh, it is. Okay. So, um, this is the board here. New meta, wait for all PCBs to be black and then charge extra for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So another, the last item I want to address is that the only difference is that the cloth that ships with the TX bag is going to have the Mary C Works logo on the cloth instead of um, the TX keyboard logo. So it's basically like, you know, you guys have seen like the Teha types bags or the um, um, or the Biso bags. They all kind of like adjust its, those small things to for their own brands. Okay, so here is the board we're going to be building today. It is a black prototype unit with a red aluminum plate. So as you can see, there's a daughter board inside there. Um, it's gonna be type USB-C. Um, and let's see. So USB-C has the Mary C type 
uh, Mercy Works logo here. It's gonna have a wind keyless blocker here. Um, I'm not sure if the wind if there is going to be a wind key unit. I actually forgot to ask about that. Um, but Morning Coffee is in chat, I believe, uh, so he might be able to address questions um, if you guys have any. And this is the back side of the keyboard. It's a brushed steel um, plate with an engraving uh, with a blasted Mary C. Works logo in the middle and a Sesanta Cinque um, engraving on the lower right. Or I guess lower left if it's going to be uh, facing you uh, uh, top side up. Okay. Um, so actually, let's take it apart, right? Um, okay, so uses M2.5, wait. Off. Side angle? Oh, sure. Uh, I'll show you the side angle before I take it apart. Side angle is like this. So, uh, uh, unless you haven't seen a TGR 910 before, it's pretty similar to that. Try to say the name of the board 10 times fast. 65, 65, 65, 65, 65. Very easy. Psh, what kind of challenge is that? Uh, how do you pronounce the name of this board? It's 65, which is 65 in Italian. The C is like a CH sort of, like a ch sound. And then Q U, you pronounce it like Q. So it's sesanta cinque. All right. Chico is an accent, Chad. <laughs> Hachiroku keyboard. When? I don't know. This is why I paid Diego for the build polyglot. <laughs> Italian just happens to be one of the languages I did learn at some point. off the top this is from the bottom side it has seven mounting points it's a top mount keyboard as you can see so one two three four five six seven um, pretty standard uh, top mount stuff um, so the plate does have a cutout for a win key um, so if there were housing with the without the blocker then you can install win key there too and um, pretty standard though, um, just has a few alignment peg holes here, screw holes, and yeah, just an aluminum plate, pretty standard. Standard like top mount stuff. And here is the bottom piece. Um, few internal, <laughs> small internal bar there, but it's fine. Um, so it says Merisi Works there, Houston, Texas. Um, so as you can tell, well, Merisi Works is morning coffee is based in Houston. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, it's just uh, routing for the for the daughter uh, for daughter board cable, USB C type daughter board over there. Uh, pretty standard, nothing special as far as the bottom goes. It's just a wedge with handles, USB C port. And um, the bottom weight is uh, brushed stainless steel. Um, it uses these big Phillips screws um, to 
connected to the bottom piece, the bottom aluminum piece. So, oh yes, um, it says here that, okay, let's see, Mary Seaworks engraving on the inside will be revised. So the O in Mary Seaworks engraves correctly. Mary C O in A. So maybe this O? Okay, maybe this O is, oh, I see. Oh, the W is a little bit too far away. So the kerning is slightly uh, off here, but you know, it'll be fixed on the real one. But it's on the interior, so it doesn't quite matter. Um, I wouldn't really care, but you know, small details. You know how much the group buy is going to go for? Yes, do exclamation Mary C for details on the group buy. Exclamation Mary C. M E R I S I. Cool. All right. So we have a uh, M2 screws for the aluminum plate that connects to the top case. So pretty standard top mount. Um, like if I have to say my first impressions now, it's pretty standard. Basically reminds me of a 910 without the corner blocker and with a centered USB-C port now with a daughter board. And the weight is a bit larger, I guess. And uh, it's stainless steel instead of brass. Um, I guess that's about the differences for, the, for this. Uh, the mounting is slightly different from the 910. The 910 has eight mounting points that are symmetrical um, across each other. Um, whereas this one has seven mounting points that are not um, symmetrical across one another. So that's the only difference is I guess for uh, other top mounts, uh, top mount 65% keywords that I've seen. Um, I mean, there's like the Q, which is like semi top mount, but it's really more like a sandwich. Yeah, it's more like a sandwich. Um, what else is there? 65%. I mean, there's like exclusive E6.5, pretty standard too. Um, yeah, uh, it's just, uh, if you want like something that's pretty standard, I think something like this works pretty well. All right. So it's meant to be sort of bland, I guess. <laughs> like very just neat looking. Uh, overall, uh, it looks good. The seams are not very apparent. The alignment pegs do help. Um, and uh, like the side, uh, you know, the side profile is pretty clean and nothing that uh, stands out at me. There's a very, uh, as you can see, the top and uh, the top piece is slightly chamfered here. And the bottom piece um, is slightly filleted, like filleted here. Um, has a little bit of a ledge. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see there to make it parallel to the floor, to the table. Um, but that's about it. Um, it's The anno is pretty smooth. Um, pretty, um, pretty, pretty good. I mean, honestly, like, I don't really see any issues uh, so far. Oh, I do mean to take off the daughter board, so let's do that also. How is it? Animal matching? Pretty good, it looks like. I mean, uh, I feel like the marks that you see are probably my f uh, like fingerprints actually. So yeah, that aside, the black, this is black, so the anal matching is pretty on point. Uh, it doesn't look like it's off, really. Yo, you gonna lose lightning, love your aesthetic man, keep up the great work and post on Reddit, love seeing your work. Thank you so much, that's very nice of you. Are 65% wing keyless usual asymmetrical blocker sizes? Yes, because uh, if you want to make it wind key, strictly speaking, the wind key is only on here. Uh, there's no wind key on the right. So yeah, unless you do like all one U keys that you can introduce a wind key there, but it, in my opinion, that looks pretty ugly. So.
Okay, so just very simple daughter board, USB-C. Uh, doesn't oh, it's McLovin's um, daughter board. Pretty standard. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the case. Um, if you have any questions, uh, actually, if you guys have any questions, make sure to tag me because that's why that's an easier way for me to see them. If you don't, I'll have to read somehow, and if I don't catch it, then yeah, sorry. Okay. So as is standard, we always test the PCB before starting. Always test your PCBs before starting. Should I say that again? Always test your PCBs before starting. I'll say it one more time. Always test your PCBs without before starting. No pricing? There is pricing. Uh, exclamation Mary C to get um, pricing information. Maybe for the tube. Hello. Uh, it's been it's been a while, huh? What's the weight look like? It's just sta uh, stainless steel. Uh, Baldy. It's uh, brushed stainless steel, just rectangular weight, with a mild chamfer on it, actually. Yeah, with a mild chamfer on it. Um to sort of frame it a little. It reminds me of Salt Bay. It sort of does, huh? That's one before starting. <laughs> Daughter board connection, pretty simple, just usual JST stuff. Uh, okay. So I was told that um, it's currently not on VIA just yet, but we do have a JSON file. Uh, so the JSON file is the, basically the definition file for VIA. Um, so like if I open VIA and let's see, let me show you. So if I open VIA here right now, there's no, um, like be, uh, it's not currently on VIA, like on the VIA like repo. So uh, we got a JSON file. So in order to do that normally, you just go to the settings tab, uh, you click on show design tab, you enable it, and then you go to the design tab, and then you load draft definition, and then you browse to get to where the file is located. Um, and then so in my case, I, you know, I just have it somewhere here. And then I open the JSON file, it's going to load it up. And it basically is the definition for the keyboard, right? Um, so it shows you the, the keyboard itself, right? Um, so now it's like being detected. Currently being detected as Pac-Man 65, but it's going to be called Mary C 65, like Mary C says and the Chingui, right? Um, so yeah, um, so we can go to key tester and actually no, just here in design is fine, I guess. Can I, can I just test it here actually? Does it do that? No, I don't think so, right? Is we just go to a key tester and just do it here. So it looks like it's functional. That's good. So today we're going to be doing split backspace, I believe. So I'll probably have to reprogram that part. But it detects fine, so that's good. Oh, just FYI, this PCB does not have ISO compatibility. It's ANSI only for those who might be wondering. Yeah, it doesn't have um, ISO compatibility. It's fixed split shift. It does support split backspace and stepped caps lock. 
and it looks like it's fixed 7u bottom row so no 6.25u bottom row for y'all 6.25u fans in chat yo kimchi jody boy thank you so much for the tier one sub how do you pronounce it you pronounce it 65 the all the only thing you the only thing you need to know is the c is like a ch sound and the q is like gu Oh, it's left shift. Okay. But yeah, by the time this uh, this runs, it will be on Via, so nothing to worry about. The reset button is here on the top side of the PCB, so if you needed to uh, reset your uh, put your put your keyboard into. Uh, bootloader mode all you have to do is take off your spacebar and just tap on the button press the button rather so just FYI wait did I test this one okay there all right so it works um it's gonna be split backspace okay so split backspace means this is gonna be pipe tilde backspace and then I like doing the more typical home page up, page down, and that's fine. Left control for this for me. This is all fine. Uh, maybe I'll just put this as layer one. And um, oh, this might, I just might as well just put it as right shift. All right, cool. All right, I think that should do it. Oh, I should have gone to here, oops. Oh well, okay, it's fine, it works. The whole point is it works. So we can actually just close via. So functional PCB, good thing. Take off from the daughter board. Just put it aside for now. What language is the name in? Italian. It means 65, literally. Yes, yeah, so what people said in chat is correct. Does Mary C mean anything? Go check out the Mary C Works website and you'll know all about why it's called Mary C Works. But it's named after the famous family of the Mary C, blah, blah, blah. You, you can you can read up read up on it. It's it's all detailed in the website, I believe. I think I'm right. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. But I believe I'm right. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not there. Is it? If you go to sesanta cinque, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh. Uh, maybe maybe he doesn't have that here. Is it on the Insta? I forget where it is. There's info about. Oh, there we go. Thank you. More about the name. Perfect. Thank you. I I I was pretty sure it was somewhere. I just didn't know exactly where. I didn't remember where. Okay, so seven here. We've got a ton of uh, stabs here, so. See, so we just need left shift. These are clipped already. Left shift, enter, and 7u. That's it. Yay. Awesome. I like doing fewer stabs. It's nice doing fewer stabs. Anyone know the price for the group buy? There is a command, exclamation Mary C, that tells you the price for the group buy. It says it in text. It's 465. Bonjourno. That reminds me of a uh, Inglorious Bastards. I 
Glorious is one of the most glorious movies. It's like it's a good one, yeah. Fun one. Synergy with keyword layout, yeah. <laughs> Except once you add shipping and tax, it's not. <laughs> Is it true that you don't need to clip plate mounted stabs? Yeah, because plate mounted stabs don't even have a thing to clip, I think. Shipping and tax is exactly 65 more, don't worry. I'm not sure. I think that's kind of a scam. <laughs> Wait, actually, no. I guess it depends on the state. Because, like, if you're, like, in New York, let's say, like me, you pay almost 9% in taxes. Um, and then shipping on top. So, yeah. It would probably be more, more expensive than 65 actually. for the aesthetics. Okay, okay. Alright, we got some lube today. So I can just use this one. Just put it aside. Yo, deck one bell, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Brushy, brushy, where are you? Brushy. Brushy, brushy. You see that KVD fans D65 GB? What do you think if so? Uh, I haven't seen all the details of it, but I mean, I know that it's supposed to be like some competitive 65% keyboard, right? Um, I need to look at it though, to be honest with you. I haven't, I haven't looked at like all the features. I just know it's there. Which polycarbonate is that? Uh, we built it uh, yesterday, actually. Uh, there's the info. Melody 65 looks cool, but it's too tall to reasonably have a comfortable typing experience. Um, in my opinion, I don't really think that there's such a thing as too tall if you can adjust your chair, actually. Because if you can adjust your chair so that your typing posture is normal, I mean, correct, normal, like, you know, correct typing posture, your wrists are supposed to be floating. You're not supposed to do, be doing this. Or like doing this. So yeah, I wouldn't say that uh, it would affect um, ergonomics in that sense. It, it, it could be detrimental if you can't do that though. Yeah, for sure. I mean, people also use wrist rest for like the wrong reasons, you know? But it's just like, well, I, I definitely do use a wrist rest for the wrong reasons, which is not to rest my wrists. <laughs> just to take photos. <laughs> Yo, Wasabis, hello. 
Simple job, the most goat Japanese head. There's not that many, but oh, I guess okay, fine. There are a f good number, but um, yeah, it is one of the nicest ones for sure, especially like in PVT. There's not many in PVT aside from the Android PVT ones and maybe like uh, the CRP stuff that just came out. Just be better at typing. <laughs> yes, just be better at typing. They put up a KVD fans X bib board today boob 70 boot boob, boob 65 i looked at that isn't that basically like an m6 but 65 percent it literally looks like this it literally looks like my m6 but longer oops ignore the sounds but it looks my like my m6 but longer very long it's like you could call it the m65 ha 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 Sorry about the cable issue. My cable is like kind of weird. It looks like an M6 with an angle step bottom. Yeah, it does. I can't say I like the aesthetic personally, but um, to each their own. It's a bit too rounded. Um, so the stabilizers I'm using today is just good old cherry screwing stabs, so nothing special. Before you ask whether it's retooled or not, I guess it is. your cat jams in chat I'm just waiting for the epoch 80 hopefully QD fans won't screw up the QC yeah hopefully not um hopefully it's I mean if if they use like uh, similar kind of QC standards as the Polaris let's say or like someone someone like that um, I think uh, it's I think their QC has been okay lately so yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine for the for the Dolce decal. Hoping that D sixty five is gonna be clean. No. I mean, if it looks clean to you, as far as the renders and whatnot go, then probably. I mean, the rest is just yeah, QC and machining. Machining and QC. All right. The reason I say put your cat jams is because this 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 tune right now that's playing is called Cats Walking. <laughs> so thought it was relevant. It's a banger. Oh 
Oh yeah, this reminds me. Um, I was trying to do that. Uh, like Doctor Who posted this video about like Keanians method on stabs or whatever, and I like I like cut 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 like um cherry stabs in half, and like tried to look for that film or whatever thing, just couldn't see it, and I was like, you know what, I give up. So we're not doing that. Uh, yo, friendship, how's it going, man? I'm doing all right. You know, here building keyboards, like yesterday, and a few days before that. Uh, you know, doing all right though. Uh, it's been a bit busy in life, but other than that, it's been okay. I feel like I feel like I always feel like the day is too short. The film that cherries either super hard to see or not there. So yeah, either either hard to see or not there is like it's like a scam. It's like chances that it's not gonna be there. That's that's really that's really annoying, you know. <laughs> too much uncertainty. Zeal, you can see it. I mean, zeal zeal stabs too expensive though. To be honest with you, I don't want to pay like thirty five dollars for for a set of stabs plus shipping. Yeah, zeal stabs hell expensive. Is your career um, change progressing well? Oh yeah, um, yeah, it's progressing. It's moving forward. Um, I uh, got like rehired into research, and then just like waiting for that to settle down, and then um, starting to prepare for a bunch of school stuff, I guess. Um, so like qualifying exam and stuff like that. So yeah. It's a process, but uh, I definitely do have to do some catch up on, on on stuff, and like learn learn skills that like are helpful for the the work we do. But um, with with COVID and all that, it's kind of slow because you know it's like we're trying to like not put too many people at once in in the lab or like like when we're running experiments. Um, so yeah, things are okay though. Thanks for asking. What are you aiming to study? I study uh, biomedical engineering. I work in imaging for medical purposes. I was just thinking a few hours ago how time is a constant in most scenarios, real world or science. Our perception how time progresses changes as we age, and boy, is that annoying. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> It really is. Although I always have felt that time has gone. Time has always felt faster than I would like it to be sometimes. I mean, like most times, to be honest. Like, I feel like I... Every period, like, like I've always felt like there's more that I want to do in that period of time. More so than I want time to pass by. Great to be doing some really great work on top of the great work with you and keyboards. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. I don't know. There's still a lot of uncertainty there for for sure, because it probably depends on what I what I can do with it. It's very independent work too, so really really needs me to put in a lot of work and be creative. Waiting for Daily Clack to get it in stock. Oh, for Jurok stabs or Zeal stabs. 
Yeah, I personally don't buy zeal stabs. I only use zeal stabs when someone gives them to me. If that makes sense. But I personally don't go on zealpc.com and buy stabs because that's just too expensive. Notice that escape novelty key. <laughs> Thanks. Lord of mercy on the space bar. <laughs> yeah. Always a uh, always a gamble with stabs, right? Sometimes they sound good, sometimes they're terrible and like need a lot of tweaking. So uh, it's really annoying. I mean, I think a good like builder's sort of like goal, at least for me, like my goal is to be as consistent as possible so like like you know anytime i do something that it's nearly about the same results um, i think that's sort of the goal and so it just takes a lot of practice i guess and sort of like just rep repetition eventually gets you there you get like a sense for it Oh, want to use my discount points for daily clock? Oh. So we have a lot of um, Australian or New Zealand viewers today. Is that what it is? Going to have a going to going to go to bed. Have a good stream. Thank you so much, um, Gilbert. Um, hope you have a good night and sleep well. Error messages. The frick? Okay, for a second I thought it was uh, Streamlabs, but no, it's just uh, it's just Discord. Okay, can you like close this, please? All right, task manager, do your job, please. There, there you go. Thank you. Okay. Hackermans could not get into the system. All good. All good. Stream saved. I know they they want that. Uh, them. This is it's. These must be uh. This must be the, the mafia. They they heard about the Sesanta Cinque. GG. Is it a JavaScript error? Yeah, I just got it. Revenge of the Spoon. <laughs> oh, I had the same issue? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I see now. It's an update. They're updating something. I see. Okay, so it's not just me. Good. Good to know. Yeah, I literally just got it. JavaScript error or something. Something about some modules. Just had to. I just force closed it and then reopened it, and it, it said it was updating something. <laughs> Revenge of the spoon. <laughs> K 
activity fans would like to know your location. <laughs> oh shoot, I should have not said about I should have not said anything about the damn um bit board and the D sixty five. Oops. F I actually have this big commission coming up, and uh, I'm, I I will be purchasing a bunch of stuff from KVD fans, so they better not uh, take away the merits of having a customer like myself. I am the best customer. A great customer. The best customer that exists. Believe me. Also, hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Obsidian. You building key for PewDiePie? Yes. Absolutely. I'm building a keyboard for... Uh, I don't know. I'm building a keyboard for Pokemon. <laughs> Just because you said it, Droke. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> Imagine the Sims coming over. Oh, God, that would be uh, that would be scary. <laughs> I would get canceled so hard, though. Right? Like, wouldn't you get cancelled so hard if something like that happened? Probably any male that comes close. Oof. Scary, scary. She got the HyperX sponsorship? Damn. Nice. I mean, she got a lot of sponsorships. Yeah. She's... Is she the biggest female streamer on Twitch now? I think she's slow, right? Probably. How dare you talk about my queen like that? Slash S. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need washers today because it's fixed layout, so it's gonna be easy to build. Is this because other than the name and the title it's obviously a random random strings of letters you made up um okay <laughs> it says in the name uh, i mean if you do exclamation mary see you can do you can see the link and there's a link with all the info about the board that i'm currently building um that's gonna go on group by soon but the board is over there. I'll show it more later on as we progress. I'm just giving you shit, guy. No, this is Patrick. Italian name makes it exotic? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Can't wait for the... Mary C Santa Cinque The body language. You gotta say it with with oomph.
this racism against the Italians is how you actually get cancelled? <laughs> I guess so. Funnily enough, I actually know a lot more about Italian culture than some people do, I think. Used to used to live in a neighborhood with a with a lot of Italian people, actually, when I was um growing up. And uh I got exposed to it because uh, someone in my in that in that particular neighborhood always would um, they would cook a lot, and um, I was uh, I would um, I would go out to uh, on my bike to like hang out with some friends uh, pretty often, like almost every day, and every time I would pass by, it would smell so good, like it was amazing. And one time I decided to stop by and be like, oh, like, hey, hello, sir, like, what is this? And he was like, you know, he like explained to me. And then I was like, oh, like, what kind of, like, what kind of food is this? And he's like, oh, is it like Italian food, blah, blah, blah. And then I got interested uh, because of food. <laughs> um, and then um, later on, I started learning about like Italian, like classics, like, uh, like, uh, like opera and um, like music. And 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 then they happened to be a teacher, <laughs> so I began learning Italian, and I enrolled in this Italian uh, like language course, and and occasionally they had like this food, uh, like I mean like basically like cooking workshops. But you know, even even despite all that long story about me learning Italian and about the culture and stuff, I learned it for like three years, and then I forgot it all because only Italian people speak Italian. So if you're not around Italian people often or don't interact with the whole thing often, you just forget it. So yeah, eventually I kind of it kind of drifted out of my head because that was just not around enough of, the, of it, you know? So I do understand it, actually. I could watch a movie in Italian, maybe with subtitles occasionally, but yeah. But, uh, or like, you know, listen to a song. Um, but I think conversation-wise, it would be harder. Uh, uh, it would take me uh, quite some time to pick it back up. Would make a lot of mistakes, because it's so it's it's a bit it's different from other Latin. Um, I mean, specifically, it's different from Spanish. It's very similar to French, but not 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 as similar to Spanish. And so, it would I would make probably I would probably make like grim, like grammar mistakes all the time. Cheese very important and butter yes butter and cheese oof. Yo, Dodo, hello, how are you doing? But yeah, long story short, this is a story of how I got interested in something, learned it, and it contributed very little to my life because I was an idiot and forgot about it. Just like a lot of other things I've learned in the past. Like, used to play piano, Stop playing at some point. Can't play it anymore. <sighs> a friend of mine tried to encourage me to learn, like, drawing. Tried it one time, did like, comic book sort of like, drawing and stuff. Like, I tried learning it, like, by myself. Like, with a friend. Yeah, also, stop doing it. Can't do it anymore. It's a tragic story. What is a Mary C. Santa Cinque? It's a 65% keyboard. Um, here. Better go. Better go back to practicing the piano. Oh, I really want to actually. 
now that I now that we're here, I, I kind of really want to. Like in my life, I feel like it it would be a relief. All right, let's test our stabs. Long story short, <laughs> all I think he's racing his talents because he couldn't be bothered to remember the language. Eh. Do you have GMK Burgundy? I do. Uh, but I think today we're gonna be using a different set. I've pre-picked the set for today. Just a rectangle? Yes. Well, just like uh, many other rectangular, rectangular keyboards out there. Are alpacas worth filming? Yes. But my friend told me that the new ones don't need films. I did hear that the new ones sort of have tighter housings, so... I guess your mileage may vary. How do you differentiate if you have new ones? Just try to see if they wobble. <laughs> Is it beige? No, it's not beige. It's not gonna be beige today. Actually, I'm not happy with the left side of the spacebar. So, where's the lube? Left side, left side of the spacebar a little bit. A little ticking. Seems fine. How may I... Wait, hold up. I mean, I can understand sometimes the stat will sound fine during tuning. When built, somehow it starts ticking. Yeah, exactly. So better... It's like nipping it in the bud, you know? May I ask how you set up your overhead camera? Which support arm do you use? I use a Elgato multi-mount. Uh, but the only... I would personally use a C stand, so just look up for a C stand. Um, a C stand and a, and some sandbags are gonna do a much better job than like the multi mount because the multi mount is unfortunately attached to my desk, which means that anytime I like slam on my desk or like do something, it'll like shake the camera like, like that, right? So um, it's not good. Uh, but if you use a C stand, it's gonna be separate from the entire assembly like of the desk So it's just gonna lie overhead and you can use sandbags to basically use as a counterweight and lock it in and lock it in place Excuse me The 
So actually, if you use, uh, if you go onto like my gear, uh, so exclamation gear, I have like a Amazon store website as well as a kit doco link where you can, um, where you can find like links to like the C stand and whatnot too. Um, but yeah. Thanks, kind of check that. No problem. I don't think the multi mount is on Amazon, so uh, I believe you have to purchase it from Corsair directly or from Elgato directly. I think it's either of those two at this point. I don't know which one is currently managing their whole storefront. So I think it's Corsair though. I think Corsair is managing the storefront part of it. I think the snaps sound fine now, so we can probably just go ahead. Um, so something neat that I just noticed. Check this out. It's out of stock in most places. Yeah, I think that makes sense. But check this out. Do you guys see that? The button lines up with the hand. Isn't that pretty cool? So you can just poke it with like a, like tweezers or something. It's very handy. That's, that's, that's good. This lining up is... Nice detail. Is that the reset button? Yeah, you don't have to take apart the board. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep, that's the whole point. Don't tell me what to poke and where to poke it. I mean... Someone in your life at some point might tell you what to poke and where to poke it. And you might have to, you might, you might want to listen. Because it, it'll be, it, it might, it might, it could be a good thing. Stock spring though on cherry black. I mean, uh, they like, um, they like heavier weight for, for their switches. So that's why. I'm personally a lighter typist, so it is inconsistent spring. Eh, you could say that about a lot of springs out there. And in typing, I think that's that's sort of like irrelevant. If you're if you're nitpicking one by one, sure. But if you're typing, I don't think most people can tell a difference. Feels good, man. These switches just go right in. No need to press super hard. Love the black inks. Yeah, black inks are good too. Cherry, I like calling them the king of tolerances. <laughs> the exact opposite of that. <laughs> Plus, plus minus 20 gram. There a reason Gat Milky yellow, Yellows feel smoother to me than Black Inks? Huh. I feel like Black Inks feel smoother to me, but I, I guess that people have had different experiences with that. Or a bad batch? Yeah, maybe. What are you talking about? Linus Shield? I mean, toward their factory and they were the bestestest as tolerances. I didn't even know that Linus actually toured their factory, <laughs> if it's real. I'm kind of surprised, in fact, that that's, that's even a thing. What can't Linus do? A 
that was years ago? I see. I, I, I don't follow TBH. I don't follow any tech tubers. Follow Nathan or Wildcat as tech tubers. Um, I'll watch like Nathan's vlogs and videos. Yeah, I, I watch Nathan's videos. I mean, I moderate for him too, so like, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I watch Nathan's videos. I mean, I support I support fellow keyboard uh, keyboard content creators uh, work. I think that it's good to support fellow content creators because it's just the way the community grows. And honestly, I don't really have any feelings about like I don't feel so invested in like there's no there's no reason why I should feel like it's comp like competitive I certainly don't even create contents to say that so yeah Wildcat does pretty cool stuff too I watch his um I watch his like review and like unboxing and that kind of those like build streaming videos I mean like build videos and stuff they're really cute and there's a very different aesthetic that's very pleasant I really like it. I really like how much work they both put in when they do release videos. It's not super frequent, but when they do, it's pretty nice, in my opinion. Brandon Taylor or Batsy Tech? I follow neither of them, actually. I've seen some of their videos, but yeah, I, I don't follow any of the two. Um, I like... um. I've seen some of their videos though, but yeah, I don't really follow them. Not so much interesting like the newest and the latest personally, so yeah. Random Frank P, but that's a stretch. Yeah, I think Random Frank P... But Random Frank P has done a pretty decent job of like, kind of coming into the community and being receptive to a lot of the stuff going on, like outside of his collabs and whatnot. I mean, I think it's kind of like a blessing that like Novel Keys was the person, like was the was the entity to connect with Random Frank P because I do feel like Novel Key Novel Keys is such a good representation of like vendorship in the community right now. Like they do such really good, they do like great collabs and they really like put out some quality stuff out there. Yeah, so so I really think it's like a blessing that Linus, I mean not Linus, Random Frank P, um, started off with novel keys for like a lot of the keyword stuff that he's been do he's done so far. I hated this video. <laughs> yeah, Christopher, you told me the best thing to do in keywords is to flip on RMM. <laughs> yeah, you can make a quick buck. Make a quick dollarina. Novel keys a solid AF. Yeah, I've, I mean I've seen them in person and like they're such great people. They really are such great people. Oh, another thing to notice about the plate is that it has the blocker cut up. <laughs> so it's just kind of random, but it's there. Okay, I think we can start soldering. I don't think I see any problems with this anymore. If we're looking for quick pucks running a scam GB, that's where the real scroll is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't encourage it. It's so bad. It is so bad. Monka Jesus. <laughs> delivered that means no more scams well we were talking about yes uh, about doji cons yesterday the switch 
uh, how like it's possible that those are a scam. It's kind of sad. You hate to see it. I'm in on Dogecons, what? Yeah, I heard it. it's possible that it's a scam. I'm in, I'm in it as well, actually. Um, but I heard that, like, they're ghosting. So, people are trying to figure it out, I think. I haven't heard anything, uh, like, confirmed or detailed yet, but yeah, that's a rumor. Imagine buying a recolor? Hey, I wanted my doo-doo colored switches, okay? There no scams are still happening? Yeah, seriously. We need more vetting. Like, I wish... <laughs> I wish there were, like... We could vet interest checks and group buys where, like, you could be, like... You must have some sort of business experience or be, like, of a certain age to, like, be qualified to run something. Because, honestly, there's, like, a lot of people who are hella young, too, who are, like, running stuff. Or, like, very inexperienced with logistics and stuff. It's, it's just, like, very... It's just very out there. I mean, if you you can't do it, like in practice, it's impossible to do it to put requirements in. It's more so community vetting. But I don't think the community sort of is very um, invested in that. You might lose someone who's got a great idea. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you guys know, like I mean, like J Chan and like Mechanisk. Um, so, um, what's his name? Leandrin. They're super young. Do you guys know Zorb Cabs? Zorb Cabs, the artisan maker? He's like... He started when he was like in high school. I mean, Pudsy started when he was like in... Middle... Okay. High school, probably. <laughs> but you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> Pudsy. <laughs> Great ideas though, great ideas, okay. Bringing shame to Gadron yellow users by using stock. All right, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start soldering. I feel like selling artisans is a bit different. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just putting an example of uh, people in the community who are very young and also like who have some form of commercial affiliation with the community, like whether they're vendors or whether they're, you know, artists or whatever. But yeah, for sure, for a group buy is a very different story. But yeah, I mean. Scams still do happen on, on occasion. I mean, like we had Wood Keys, we had Tesla Tron, we've had Ivan, we've had Team Redline, we've had Sprit. Gone, uh, not gone. Um, you know, like there, there have been quite a few scams. But like, you know, they come in, they come unexpectedly, so you can't really tell when, when that something like that could happen. It's just like unfortunate, though. Mech 27? Oh yeah, Mech 27. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, the, the, the list is very long for, for that stuff. Like, the list for, for people who have not been responsible for the stuff that they've run. It's just unfortunate. There are some common features among them too, but, you know, it's not generalizable still. What's worse, scams or cloners? I think cloners are really bad. I think cloners in particular are, are really bad for the community. I mean, it just undermines 
the work like original work so so much like it's it's super super hurtful to people who make original work it really really dis it really discourages like innovation in a way because it's basically taking all the shortcuts and hurting the the people who like made, did the original work as well but let me see corporate tried to find a difference and they're the same thing has there been a newcomer with an IC that was super questionable at first but ended up being a big success? <laughs> Mech 27. Um, I actually don't know. Um, an IC that seems suspect but ended up being a big success. Great success. Um, what great successes do we have that were unexpected? I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to think about it. I'm currently like trying to focus on soldering though. I'm not entirely sure. Most of the good ones are in gut are, are in sauce at the start, yeah. That's true. The guy behind Ori was asking all the Ori buyers to give him reference letters to get his PayPal account unlocked. Oh wow, damn. Kinda sounds like a Phionic Star. <laughs> when the, she got her uh Square account lock or whatever. You guys remember Phoenix Star? I believe they might be a ghost designer for some peeps on for someone else right now. I'd say the pizza guys. How different would a board have to be for it to not to be a clone? I'm talking about literal cl like one to one clones UTD. Tiamo, um, things like that, or like artisan clones as well, like K K three K C, um, that kind of stuff is horrible. Do you say Tiamo? Yeah, Tiamo. Tiamo has cloned Janes. And Matrix boards and a lot of things. Tiamo, Tiamo is like lead cloner. They just make it in different materials and shit, but like it's they, they still clone all the designs. They're an entity. Uh, they're uh, not the keyboard. I mean, they make a keyboard called a Tiamo, but it's it's a clone basically. It's like a it's like a conglomerate. It's like a Combined clone sort of thing. Oh, Timo. No, not Timo. Timo is the f the Timo 50, you mean, right? The, the Thunderburger? No, 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 not that one. That's that's an original board for sure. That's very unique. Pandora. And Dash was called out for being a scam. That was legit. That's true. The first run was made private. Yeah. Yeah, and Dash. And Dash, and Dash was initially called for being too close to the Corsa. Uh, because it is it is indeed inspired from the Corsa, but yeah, it turned out to be alright too. I mean, I think a lot of people start from inspirations, right? Because they're like, I admire this, uh, this is what I see, like, this is what made me come into the community, this is what I really, like, have always wanted, that kind of stuff. Um, personal projects start distinguishing themselves when they, when you start involving money, and when you start selling things to other people as well and the implications of that change like the expectations too but on principle like you know you, you want to try your best to to diverge a bit from work that's original so that you can call it your own but I mean replicating is is, is very common Was well, Cyberboard uh, Cyberboard Runner new? Yeah, I believe Cyberboard is somewhat new. Um, yeah, I believe they have like other like tech products, but I'm not sure about keyboards. I don't think they have any keyboards done. The Cyberboard people. But they are also like in a different kind of like minefield because 
they're doing this on like Kickstarter. I mean, ob obviously you guys have heard of like Kickstarter scams and whatnot, but uh, you know, things have changed there too as a platform. Type Master, yeah, Type Master was pretty blatant in a way, um, like all the aesthetic features and whatnot. That was pretty bad. I mean, there certainly are a lot of there are designs in the community that are currently accepted and acceptable that I think are extremely close to other stuff, and you could hardly call it very much different. But you know, it's hard to dictate those standards. It's just. It's just a matter of discussion though, that's true. Like it's, it requires people to, to talk about it. And to be like, is this really something that's a clone or is this very similar? Y'all remember Altarv? I'm not sure. Got a UTD, I know people will shout me for getting it, but there's no way I would pay for an OTD and on my personal beater board. But you see, the argument to make for a UTD is like, don't you have so many other options to have a personal beater board? Why does it have to be a UTD, right? Anyway, there's a lot to be said there, but you know, whatever. Um, did somebody copy the Rama Mute this summer? Uh, Cyberboard had the Rama Mute sort of thing, yeah. I'll never trust trust Kickstarter GoFundMe, yeah, it makes sense. I think the Skull, Scully Motorcycle Helmet went south so bad, yeah. A lot of um, a lot of Kickstarter stuff definitely can go south and has gone south. It's very unfortunate to see that though. I mean that's why I think community vetting is important in the sense that like people need to talk about it and people need to see like be like you know like I found this that kind of seems suspicious and might be worth just keeping an eye on because you know it's possible that this runner uh, is a bit suspect or whatever it might be and like not pointing fingers but more so like kind of like a heads up or like being like oh like let's let's give it the benefit of the doubt but you know this is data that may, may might support that like the lack experience or that you know uh that like like you know something to watch out for like wonky finances like if there's someone who has like run something in the past or like has made promises but yeah there's a finite way of permutations for metal rectangles yeah for sure Oh, did someone say Rama Mute? <laughs> PTSD. PTSD from one day ago? <laughs> Was Altar the KC clone? I'm not sure actually. Have we come to a consensus on one offs? One offs can be treated a bit as personal project, but it also depends on who is manufacturing the one off. If it's like a known entity that's known like as a manufacturer and they're making one-offs or clear copies, it's kind of like shame on them for even agreeing to do that, right? Does that make sense? The, the, the question is who, you know, the onus falls on whom is the question. Can I have a soapbox for a moment? Sure. <laughs> There's not really a lot of $300 TKLs anymore. Yeah, 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 not in stock, yeah. And also, prices have gone up because people have realized that they can charge more. So, yeah. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Let's talk about sponsors for a bit while I test this guy. Um, cause I should talk about them. First of all, thank you to Mary C Morning Coffee of Mary C Works for sending out this prototype to build. It's just like any other build though. So, but you know, thanks anyway. Um, do check out Mary C Works, um, exclamation Mary C for details on the group by for this particular keyboard. Uh, and then, 
for his sponsors, we currently have Canakeys.com. So on Canakeys, you can find GMK Red Dragon, as well as two different deskmat designs. So go check out Canakeys.com for those. Next, we have Dixie Mech. Uh, the Bower 2 rival just ended recently. So if you missed out, it's unfortunate. But um, yeah. Good luck if you enter the Power 2 raffle. And um, currently, GMK Redline is also running on DixieMech.com. You can purchase at DixieMech.com slash Lightning if you want to support this stream. Next up, we have... Uh, hold up. All right. Um, next up, we have... Um, uh, Mint Autumn. Mint Autumn is currently working on fulfilling Rukia round two, and we'll be having more work on polyethylene cases in the future. Um, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned and sign up for their newsletter as well as their Discord server where they update. Next up, we have Novel Keys, where you can purchase a lot of keyboard related supplies and accessories like dust mats and switches and keycaps and all sorts of things stabilizers lube etc etc and you can purchase all in stock items um, and get five percent off if you use the promo code thunder and currently on group buy um, in two days uh, three group buys are going to end uh, the number one is going to be gmk space cadet round two by Ablotsky, gmk mud beam and gmk grand prix those three group buys will be ending shortly, so if you're interested in those, make sure to check them out before this Friday. Um, there is also the Random Frank P NK65 V2 um, currently on, I mean, uh, NK65 uh, currently on group buy, so which includes all switches, keycaps, all that good stuff for $190. Um, so, pretty good deal, so do check it out. Alright, so everything works. Good. Alright, next we have Prime Keyboards where you can purchase alpaca switches, or you can purchase Durox stabilizers, smoky Durox stabilizers, which are unique to Prime Keyboards. Uh, we also have um, other supplies such as switch openers and lubing stations and whatnot. And, ooh, and Keyless Blocker. You right. Totally forgot. My bad. I'll just desolder that. Good thing I have the iron still on. Good call. Good call. Good call. Well, this gives me time to continue my show time. So, um. So, yeah. Um. That said, let's continue. Um, so Prime Keyboards, you can go to primekb.com slash lightning to purchase supplies for keyboards, key switches, etc. Stabilizers, where I get a lot of my stabilizers actually. All right, great, okay. Done desoldering this. Um, and uh, yeah, next up we have projectkeyboard.com. So head on over to projectkeyboard.com to purchase GMK Noir. Um, a design by Apiary Keyboards, Gasp or Boop of Apiary Keyboards, and Neflock, uh, who is also the designer for GMK Metropolis. He helped design the novelties as well as the desk mats. Um, has a cool abstract theme going on for it, so I highly suggest checking out GMK Noir. I will be purchasing a set for myself in a week. Uh, the group ends on November 4th, and there are also three different um, Southern um, metallic keycap designs, so do check out um, Salvin's work, who is also a new sponsor of this stream. So go on to, uh, for Jim K. Noir Artisans, you can head on over to um, projectkeyboard.com and check out Jim K. Noir there. Uh, and, but you can also check out salvin.com uh, for all Salvin-made products and collaborations. He will be dropping more merch, synth, for, for artisan makers out there, uh, as well as other goodies in the future. Um, some of you know that Key Cult number three will be produced through Salvin. Um, so there's that to, to expect. As well as other many, many other collaborations, such as the Aurora input 
65 by Oblotsky. Um, yeah, like the Dawn 65 is currently in production. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. All right. So let me go back on the discussion. All right. We are done desiring this. So let's see. Uh, hold up. Uh, infamous Fanu. Uh, Fanu, yeah. Fanu is kind of bad too. Pretty. It's a mutant. That's a, that's a blatant copy as well. And then, remember, Gringo asked for a soapbox. Gra, get up here with me. I mean, if you can't come up with something you feel is original, you can also make a super basic board. I agree with that. No machine shop wants to machine one board for you. That is also very true. Might as well absorb the price then go to mech market. Okay. Not true, I have worked with a ch shop in China that is okay with one offs. Being okay with one offs doesn't mean it's a preference, however, right? Anyway, I was told there a shop set up in China specifically one of prototyping. Yeah, I mean, there's there's place for prototyping, yes. $400 for 65% and 500 plus for TKL has become a norm now. Yes, very expensive, in my opinion. But, I mean, as in like, expensive as in, as in like, it's a lot of money. Um, not necessarily expensive as in like, I consider it a bad deal, expensive. Um, just to be clear. Speaking of red line, they would look so good on this board. This board would look indeed would look good with um, red line. Uh, but today we're actually gonna be putting one of my favorite sets. Can you guess which set that might be? Anyway, let's see. Uh, Keyless blocker. Damn, Twitch and their shitty ads. Yeah, I, I definitely have heard that ads are back. Tolch, yes, Tolch. Dolch. We're gonna be using GMK Dolch today. Unfortunately, it's not the GMK Dolch that I made, but it is a GMK Dolch that's a previous version that I do still like. Kekon Dolch. See, there's some interesting discussion going on in chat. Speaking for North American European shops, last I checked, no wait. Um, uh, vast majority of boards are not one of products, very true. Uh, there are probably two reasons why a shop in China wants you to make a one-off. First of all, uh, I would say it's probably a lead up um, so that you can make more later on. They want your design files, also agreeable, yes. They have idle capacity, so the opportunity costs is zero. Um, I'm not sure, but if you know, but a famous, a pretty popular um, manufacturer in China it does take a lot of the design files and kind of tweaks them for themselves, which is kind of deplorable, but there's not much you can do to prevent it. Um, the only way to prevent it is to not commission them. But yeah. The Mercy board and the Aurora Input 65 look very much alike. I mean, 65% can only look... I mean, it'll only go a certain way. Uh, still, only so many ways of doing a rectangle, but there are definitely ways to make them diverge, the designs. But I do think there's quite a few differences still. They might look alike from the outside, but the way they're done, interior, as well as the way the parts fit together and whatnot is very, very different uh, comparing the Aurora and the Mary C65. Thank you for being a big advocate for R5 Lightning. I, I am a very huge advocate for R5 because I enjoy it so much. It's aesthetically so much more pleasing. So thank you, Stray Gnome. The fact that Twitch puts too many ads really forced me to stop watching. Yeah, I heard that Twitch actually feeds you more ads the less you watch them. The less, the fewer ads you watch, the more Twitch is going to feed you ads until um, you've watched enough to whatever their threshold is. Like they're using this weird algorithm where basically you're being fed more ads if you if you haven't been watching ads because of the ad block all right it's done so now we gotta put the daughter board on D 
you make Korean Beige as well? No, Korean Beige was by Zondat. Zondat did ran Korean Beige. I ran Greek Beige, uh, Funzy. God damn it. Pay the work over a set of ten and sit there and do nothing. Doing anything in the machine shop takes forever. Yeah, that's true. Manufacturing is just very, very taxing. Overall, doing things by hand. Only a matter of time until we see a replica key called? Yeah, well, no doubt. No doubt. Oh, come on. This screw is small, so keeps falling off and also I think I don't know why but my I thought this would be magnetic but my maybe the screw is too small to catch it. It's in now. Does the daughter board cable not have sleeving rubber outside? Uh, the production unit unit will have um sleeving uh, strain on. So here are the key differences between the production unit and the prototype. Uh, let me quote them for you. So first of all, PCB will be matte black in the production unit. Um, JST cable will be slightly shorter and sleeved, so it fits sits nicer in the cable routing. Mary C Works engraving is going to be adjusted very slightly, so it's more correct, um, like more correctly done, like kerning wise. And then um, the TX bag that comes with the board is going to be a small size TX bag instead of a medium size that I got today. Um, and the and the microfiber cloth um, that comes with it is going to have the Mary C Works logo on it. So those are the main differences from the prototype today and. Uh, and the group by unit. My keyboard.eu will have some GMK white and black, GMK black and white, and beige hangul add-on kit extras tomorrow. Yeah, I heard about this. I told my friend who was looking for some of the kits to pay attention to it. Um, but yeah. Uh, do I want more hangul kit? I, I think I'm good. I'll stick with one kit. It's fine. Extras would be good, but yeah. Do you enter Bower 2? I did not, Thoughtwave. I don't have any funds to currently... Uh, um, enter power too, even if I would like to. Would I have? Maybe if I had a lot of money. <laughs> but I don't, so. It's a nice board. It's a nice looking board. And it typed pretty alright, like when I got it, when I had it um, for a build. And so, yeah, I like it. And the new changes are good, so, like, quality of life improvements and stuff. So, yeah. I might have, I might have, yeah, considered participating just because it's a bit unique in that sense. But, um,. Yeah, no funds, no funds for, for that. <sighs> Capital investment. Machines. 
Where is it dropping? JMK White and Black. White and Black bait. Uh, White and Black Hangul is dropping. Uh, there's gonna be extras on mykeyboard.eu. figurine please yes yes i actually was asked to to put a specific one so i'll do that for the wait ui p where did i put the space bar did i forget that i'll have to go and get it I thought I put the space bar out, but I'll go and get it. Okay. Why is there a stigma against green PCBs? It's it's stupid. It's not it's it's not really a stigma, it's just people being unreasonable. I personally think it's just people who are being dumb about it. Who the who the hell cares? Green looks just fine to me. Green looks pretty nice, in fact. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, TBH, it's stupid. It's not like you can see it anyway. Yeah, that too, but it's also like the color, like, yeah. Who the hell Matt? I'm like, who the hell cares whether it's green or not? Just pick a color, like pick the color you like. If you don't like it, then no don't, don't buy it. <laughs> but if it's the only if if it's the only like choice you have, then it, it being a deal breaker is like really dumb. figurines all right let me get the space bar
artisans are made to be mounted, which is why it looks good here. All right, how do you think? Gosh, my greasy ass hands. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Yikes, so greasy. BRB. color PCVs yet uh, maybe greens a more standard color reminiscent of old cheap electronics yeah it's true I, I like it though I still like green rigged yes actually I remember someone making fuss about green PCVs under the drop ice yeah. these blacks are retooled uh, maybe I don't know they're smooth that's all that matters. Doesn't doesn't matter doesn't matter whether it's um, retooled or vintage. They, if it's smooth, that's all that matters. So yeah, there this this the board. My Dolce set is starting to shine a bit. Cool. All right, let's type on it and then we can do a little tour of the board. One more time. Sorry for the passionate machine talk earlier. Why are you apologizing? I don't. I don't mind that. I think it's a good. It's a. It's a nice. Um, it's a nice chat. It's fine. I mean, could get heated, but I mean, that's that's like everything. Uh, let's see, monkey type. Donde esta? All right, here. Boom. All right. Music off. Oops. And off. Runs Mercy Works morning coffee. Morning coffee. He should be in chat actually. Okay, have I missed anything else? Discussion is important if people want to actually advance. Yeah, I think information is always good to have. All right. Let's try this out, shall we? So this is a Mary Seaworks 65 prototype. Um, 
Mary C. 65. And this board um, has a classic look. Wing Keyless Blocker has some MX Blacks on it, on a red aluminum plate, has a daughter board inside. USB C, QMK, and VIA compatible. Um, PCB will be black. It will come with a TX case. It will retail for $465 US. And the raffle uh, for the group buy will run on November 15th. Okay? All right, cool. Let's get started. Here's a typing test. Whoa, where's my hold up? All right. Am I having frame drops? Rip. Yeah, anyone wanna get me a RTX 3080? I'll, I'll gladly accept do donations. It's okay, 2080 works fine too. I only have a 1070 though, so that's right away. And my RAM, I don't have like as much RAM. <laughs> but you know. I actually have a PC part picker list if you just put like PC part picker, I think or PC parts list. I forget what the command is, but it's one of those. Um, is this retool black? Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's just MX blacks. Yeah, I don't really care about the distinction, honestly. It's smooth, though. It's good. All right, here are the mods. seeing some frame drops whoops oh well sorry for the frame drops hmm. yeah it's my internet if, if there's frame drops so sorry about that see any questions yeah it looks like the, my internet is currently slightly unstable so apologies bye Diego I'm going to eat dinner have a good night sounds good Trailer, you have a great dinner yeah it started like three minutes ago having some little bits of instability but it's actually not as bad it was way worse when 
that time AOC was streaming. That was like completely impossible to stream. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'll show you the board itself. AOC streaming it? No, 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 not today. I'm saying that the the time AOC was streaming, I was trying to stream and it was impossible to stream because like everything would just crash. Like all the frames would be dropping and stuff all over the place. It was pretty bad. All right. So here is our Mary C. Oh, wait. Auto focus. There we go. Here's our Mary C. 65. Sesanta Cinque. Aluminum plate in the back, peeking out, very nice. Um, we have a series by Art Key on the Escape and a Kipora over there at the Home Key. Um, Chimki Dolch, classic. And this is the side profile of the keyboard. This is the bottom. And as you can see, uh, the middle part is blasted. This part is just engraved. The brushed stainless steel weight. Um, pretty nice looking. Again, side profile. Has a USB-C port that's pretty low to the bottom keys. Nice and parallel to the desk. Um, so yeah, pretty nice, simple 65%. I like it. Um, will I have funds to purchase this? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I um, I have to say my finances are not like in the best place. As far as I need to, I just need to like recover. See, this is why you shouldn't sleep on Dolch. Yeah, don't sleep on Dolch. Time to chill on the couch and watch Top Gear chill stream. Sounds good, friendship. Have a great one. Nice booty. Yeah, booty's pretty good. Booty nice, booty nice. Also, if you were experiencing some hiccups on the stream, I believe my bit rate's coming back up, so feel free to refresh. Uh, although I think an ad is gonna catch if you do refresh, so. Just FYI. So yeah, nice booty for sure. Um, I don't have a aluminum nine ten to compare this with, but it's a nice keyboard. Um, I can see that the two bezel, the bezels, the bezel proportion is not one to one, so the sides are slightly thinner than the top and bottom. The inner edge is chamfered. So the inner edge of all the top case, the entire top case is slightly chamfered, slightly curved over here and sharp at the blockers. Um, the blockers extend very, very slightly above the top end of the keys, which is kind of nice, makes it look very sharp. Um, Filleted at the bottom, uh, pretty smooth, uh, has a very nice smooth touch to the edges, not sharp, which is actually this I do like, It's it looks, it looks sharp in the sense that it's not very curvy, but at the same time it's not actually sharp to the touch, which means much less likely to um, like chip away at the, at the, at the, at the metal here. And it, it just it looks pretty good. Um, also in the inner chamfer here, um, at uh, at the weight, um, externally on the weight as well as on the framing of the weight. Does it have like a matte finish? It does have like a bit of a matte finished. Um, when using split backspace, do you prefer alpha color tilde and pipe? Yeah, always alpha color tilde and pipe. Always, 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 always alpha color tilde and pipe. Well, if I'm going to explicitly put a, uh, a, 
uh, like the legend key. So if it's blings, if it's blings, I might actually put the modifier key like an HHKB because it's fine. Like an HHKB, like, if, like for blings, you don't, you know, like I know what that key does. But, and like sometimes I will do it for aesthetics for that reason. But um, if I have the legend on the keycap and it's an alpha, it's gonna be alpha colored. No chance I'm gonna put a modifier key there. Or a modified color key, rather. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, it does have a bit of a matte sort of finish, but it's very, very smooth. I like it. It's simple. Um, if you're looking for a simple 65% board with a clean aesthetic like this, um, fingerprints? Uh, only if your like, hands are really sweaty or greasy, I think, but not quite, no. Not so bad, I think. It's all, like, you can just wipe it off, if anything. I can see the chat is a bit delayed because of the frame drops just earlier, but I think the bit rate's back to normal, so, um, yeah. If you wanna feel like catching up, just press pause and play again. But yeah, you can just, like, wipe it off if you to leave a mark, but uh, right now my hands are a bit sweaty. Yeah, it doesn't really catch that much oil, though. It's it's pretty smooth. The anode is pretty smooth, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Does anybody have any questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions? requests that's um, anodized aluminum isn't it yes it is that doesn't catch fingerprints too easily yeah yeah yeah. it's anodized black anodized aluminum so they're still dropping um, not so much anymore it was earlier but not anymore right now maybe slightly but it's not bad it's, I know that the internet's not very stable on my end. That's my fault, but I can't do anything about it. I, re I really can't do anything about it. <laughs> I wish I wish it could be reparable, but it's not. <laughs> it's really not much. Fuck Spectrum. Yeah, for real, I hate them, but you know. It is what it is. They got some internet out of California way. I think where the fires are. Huh. Let's see if anybody's streaming right now. Max F, Max on deck. Oh, I haven't read Max on deck in a while. Uh, Anthony Hayashi, Deck One Bell. It's playing games tonight. Um, okay, cool. What are Mex and Deck people doing tonight? Oh, wait, they're on just chatting right now.
Oh, Max on deck are chatting with Apiary right now. Pretty cool. Did I miss most of the stream? Uh, I can do a typing test if that helps. And a quick, quick overview before we leave. But we're basically done, yeah. We're basically done. This is the keyboard that we built today. This is called the Mary C. Sesanta Cinque. Uh, has a brushed stainless steel weight down here at the bottom. Has a very simple side profile. Very sharp. Um, it's a 65% here. Has a wind keyless blocker. 7U bottom row fixed. Uh, ANC. Uh, so no ISO. Um, does support split backspace and stepped and regular caps lock. Um, and um, has a USB-C port with a daughter board. Uh, the PCB does support QMK and VIA, and the group buy is going to be running on November 15, and it's going to be a raffle for 465 US dollars, um, and then it'll also come with a case, carrying case, a TX bag, uh, it'll come with like a microfiber cloth, uh, the PCB, and right now here is, there's a green PCB in it, but there's going to be black, matte black PCB. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, and I can type on it one more time. Is it designed on the back engraved or filled? It's like engraved. It's engraved. You can see that there's like it's pitted. Please type test. Soldered PCB? Yeah, soldered PCB. It is not hot swap. It is soldered. I don't I believe there's no hot swap options for this particularly. Sure, we can do a typing test one more time. Let's do it one more time. Last time, okay? So it has MX Blacks. Just do exclamation build for the info on the build itself. Here we go. broke my PR today. Almost broke my PR today. Damn it. Ah, so close. 132. Ah, that was fast. That was good. Ah, damn it. All right. All good. All good. Accuracy is amazing. Yeah, I think working on accuracy is probably like the biggest thing to to be to get faster at typing. It's it's the only thing. <laughs> Chunkasaurus, do you say fast? <sighs> Toy stock sprints are a bit okay for typing. I mean, yeah, I, I I practice a lot. I practice decent or not. So yeah, accuracy is definitely important though. Probably the most important, really. To type faster. All right, so that's the typing test. Hey, I'm 12th on the daily leaderboards today. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I'm sure Sifo or Chubies will play and they'll completely destroy this, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, so that's the board we got today. All right, so let's actually, um, I do want to raid Max on deck tonight um, because they're currently chatting with Apiary. Apiary is a good friend of mine, and I would like to see what they're up to as well, <laughs> so and say hi and that. Um, yeah, but tonight was fun. Um, if you guys have any questions, 
uh, before we leave, please leave them in chat. And if not, you can always find me on my Discord, on my socials, and you can check out my sponsors um, to support the stream. Uh, I appreciate all of your support, all of your help, all of your enthusiasm. Um, I will be probably putting up a typing video of this guy uh, probably this weekend. I'm not sure I have the time to do it all right away. So morning coffee, if you're still around, um, I probably won't be sending this back until early next week, most likely. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, photos, typing test, expect them soonish. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, have you guys know more about that. I mean, you'll, you guys will see it. It's going to be on my Insta, it's going to be on my Reddit profile, usual stuff. Uh, but for more information about the Mary C Works, just check out uh, MaryC.Works and you'll find information about the group right there. And the uh, raffle will be on November 15. So if you like today's build, you should consider it. All right, let's go raid a mechs on deck tonight. Uh, please be nice. Uh, just, you know, enjoy. The, they're just chatting about stuff, I imagine. I'm not sure about what, but Apiary is there too. Uh, so let's go support them and yeah again if you have any questions you can always feel free to join my discord ask me there tag me whatever um yeah so i think that's all i got for tonight my friends so yeah thanks a lot and i'll see you guys actually i'll see you guys this weekend uh, this weekend i will be streaming in ae boards constellation um, and I'll have some, I might have a giveaway maybe, uh, but anyway, I'll probably see you guys then. All right. All right. Let's go read Max on deck. See you everyone. Have a great, great night.